I hope that you don't deny the obvious. I'm about to show you guys some clips here and I need you guys to realize the common denomination and everything that I'm about to show you guys. If you guys don't have eyes to see, nothing I will show you will make sense to you and you'll continue to deny, deny, deny. But for those of you who can see, please pay attention very closely. I'm about to expose some things. Whether you are a Christian or not, stay. I dare you to stay and to listen to what I'm about to show you guys. I challenge you to stay. I salute you and I respect you for that, but it's not gonna be easy, Tyson. I can like you and I can say I can love you as a man to look in your eyes and really genuinely mean that. But when that night of that fight comes, you're not gonna be talking to Deontay Wilder. You're not gonna be looking in the eyes of Deontay Wilder. Who am I gonna be looking in the you're eyes of? You're gonna be looking in the eyes of the bronze bomber. You're gonna feel him as well too, just like the feeling that you feel him now. Is just that to, like an alter ego or something? Or is it a, a, is a, it well alive? Is it like a spirit that comes into you, or what is it? A, I mean, it can be a alter, the is it, it can be an alter ego. It can it can be a spirit. I, I, you know, it may be an ancestry spirit. Who knows? A part Nigerian I don't, as well I don't too. believe in all that stuff at well, all. I do because That's Jesus the, Christ is my savior, and I don't believe in all spirits and alter egos. And even mentioning stuff like that on TV, you're getting it. And, and, and honestly. And that's the difference if God is with me, me and you. nobody can be against me. And if you're entering spirits and stuff into your body, you can't win. You've already lost. You can't beat me. If God is with me, me and you. nobody can be against me. It's going to be your God against my God. When they meet me and they speak with me, they're expecting Sasha. I'm really kind of shy and not really shy, but more reserved. Nothing like Sasha. I guess I wouldn't be very entertaining on the stage. So Sasha comes out <laughs> and... I, and not really shy, but more reserved. Nothing like Sasha. I guess I wouldn't be very entertaining on the stage. So I Sasha like comes out. I can love you as a man to look in your eyes and really genuinely mean that. But when that night of that fight comes, you're not going to be talking to Deontay Wilder. You're not going to be looking in the eyes of Deontay Wilder. Who am I going to be looking in the eyes of? looking in the eyes of the bronze bomber. You're going to feel him as well, too, just like the feeling that you feel him now. Is just that to... like an alter ego or something? <laughs> and she's fearless. She can do things that I cannot do when I'm in rehearsal. I mean, and she's fearless. She can do things that I cannot do when I'm in rehearsal. I mean, I can try, but then it just doesn't happen. I can sing notes and sing strong and do all these things that when I'm just by myself, I can't do. And I remember right before I performed, I raised my hands up. And it was kind of the first time I, I felt something else come into me. And I knew that was going to be my coming out night for the BET Awards. I called in this a friend of mine, Roman, for the remix verse, actually. He's going to be back a lot more now. Roman is a crazy boy who lives in me. And he says the things that I don't want to say. He was born, a, you know, just a few months ago. I think he was born out of rage. He was conceived in rage. So he bashes everyone. He threatens to beat people and he's violent. That must be nice to have like an ignorant loudmouth who you can just sort of blame every... He wants to be blamed. I don't want to blame him. I, I, I ask him to leave, but he can't. He's here for a reason. People have brought him out. People conjured him up, now he won't leave. Can you please bless us with a verse? Enter Roman. <sighs> what up? What up, Roman? What up? What up? What is the situation with Roman's revenge? Why, you, you, your man Weezy's on point two, he's, he's mad out there. Yo, Roman's revenge is just about taking control, saying Roman is here to stay. And anybody that ever doubted Roman is going down in a coffin. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why you don't ever just talk for yourself? Why you always talk through your familiar? He replies that after she begins to speak some really weird stuff. It sounds like she's speaking in third person. You don't have the spirit of discernment. You would not know that it is literally a spirit that is in her that is speaking out. It would just sound like she's a creep. It sounds like she's weird. It's not her that's speaking. It's a demonic spirit that is speaking through her. It is called the familiar spirit. Those of you who are familiar with 1 Samuel, if you read your Bible, you know that the familiar spirit is mentioned in the Bible. And this is proof that the familiar 
familiar spirit is real because he asks her, why do you speak through your familiar? You should be in charge of your familiar. When I had seen this video, the spirit of God led me to do some research and to look up some things that would confirm to you guys that this is true because many are in doubt, many don't believe. Many of you defend these celebrities or you don't have eyes to see what they are doing, but what they are doing is very demonic. And if we don't open our eyes and wake up, these demonic spirits will latch onto us through the music and will influence us in our daily lives. When you listen to their music, it takes root in your mind and in your heart. And before you know it, the very lyrics is what your lifestyle becomes. Hi, I just want to rock. Body yada yada. <laughs> it's in my brain. Do you know that? It's living rent free. I can't get it out. You did that. <laughs> yeah, it's hypnosis. <laughs> the very lyrics that are in these songs give entrance for demonic spirits to enter into your life. You need to stop listening to these people's music. And if you guys desire it, I can go into the Bible and show you in 1 Samuel where it talks about the familiar spirit. And this is what he's referring to. Why are you speaking through your familiar? You're supposed to be the one in control of your familiar. You know, you're supposed, uh, to, give, you're supposed to give them the orders. They don't supposed to give you the orders. you the controller. You know, I got 10,000 names right now. I know. Yeah, at my command. At my command. Yes, Lord. You got it, your command. I got 10,000 angels in here with me right now at my command. One of the things that is so shocking to me is that celebrities will literally open their mouth and expose themselves and tell the truth with their own mouth. And yet the people would still say that no, it isn't so because the people are so blinded to the truth that even though the celebrities come out and expose themselves and try to reveal unto you what's true, you guys refuse to hear the truth. I get comments like this all the time. Anytime you upload something concerning celebrities, many of you guys are so in bondage to the lie and to the spell of these celebrities because you guys idolize them. And not only idolize them, but you're just blinded to the truth. There will always be somebody who tells you that you're looking too much into things, that what you're seeing is not truly there. You're speaking conspiracy, you're doing this, you're doing the most. It is impossible for me to change a mind and a heart that is already made up. Let me tell you something. Even if you're not Christian, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. This one scripture happens to be true whether you're whether you are Christian or not, we can't deny the very obvious things. And one of the things I cannot do, because it is impossible to change a mind that is made up and a heart that is made up, I cannot convince you and persuade you to see the very obvious things if you refuse to. The Bible also teaches us that wisdom is justified by her children. You're going to persuade yourself that you're right in your own eyes. And there is no way that I can get around that if your mind is made up already. You already have heart in your heart to believe what you believe and there's no way around that. Because a lot of you guys love to talk and you don't even do your research. You don't even look into these things. This is why you guys are so blinded. And I will continue to expose these things whether or not you guys like it. Do you guys remember that when Satan went to tempt Jesus, he said that if you bow down and worship me, I will give you all these things. This is what Hollywood does to these celebrities. If you bow down and you worship the devil, if you bow down and submit to the agenda, then you are given everything. This is why the Bible tells us, what shall it profit a man that he shall gain the whole world and lose his very soul? This is why the Bible also tells us that the love of money is the root of all evil. Because many people have idolized money and has made money their God that they're willing to do anything and everything to be able to have the wealth of the world. Let me explain to you guys what happens. When these celebrities enter into Hollywood, their handlers, those who are in control of grooming these celebrities, they do witchcraft and they do all sorts of rituals to cause these people to enter into covenants with familiar spirits. This is why you hear Nicki Minaj says that she's asked the spirit to leave, Roman. She's asked him to leave and he won't because he's been conjured up. A lot of the times you'll see people talk about alter egos. These are spirits that has been conjured up during witchcraft, which is why you hear Kevin Gates speak about the fact that these spirits serve him, right? What did he say? He's the controller. These spirits, their assignment is to make them wealthy. They summons these spirit and the spirit 
has to go about making them wealthy. This is why Beyonce says in her videos that when she puts her hands up, something else enters into her. It's a completely different person than who she is. It's actually a demonic spirit that enters into her and takes control over her that she can do things with this alter ego that she wouldn't be able to do on her own. And this is what happens in Hollywood is they conjure up these spirits and these spirits have to do what they conjure them up to do which is to earn them wealth and fame and money. This is why none of them, and I'm going to teach this in another video, none of them could truly be happy with all the wealth that they have because the wealth has been given on to them through the wicked. This is why none of them could truly be happy. If you listen to any of these celebrities speak, they're not truly happy because the wealth, they can't even enjoy it because there's certain rituals and things like that that they have to upkeep in order to keep the wealth. So none of them are truly happy with all the money that they have. They can't even be happy.